Edmund and Korn, uh, two very famous uh, economic, um, I guess, pariahs, geniuses, whatever you really want to call them, um, they published an article in Forbes. And it says, at the most basic sense, wives are whores. Um, there is a very subtle difference between taking a wife out to a nice dinner on a romantic date or doing uh, part of your honeydew list, your chores, whatever, and paying a woman $300 for sex. He said it's very subtle in that, in, in, a, in an economic sense, you could consider uh, in a, with men doing things that women become a product, something sold and traded. So, in essence, prostitution is already legal. We're just legalizing the idea of trading money for sex instead of goods and deeds. Um, further, uh, on the sex trafficking, Barbara Bent, uh, I already talked about this, she's from UNLV, she's a part of the sociology department. There's no trafficking in Nevada. Um, that system pre seems pretty stable. If adopted in California, um, I would think that we could see similar results. No trafficking, I think, is a good bonus to legalizing prostitution. Um, there's a lot of talk about prostitutes want something more, they want something. Um, I don't know what it is, so I can't address that. Um, there's also talks about uh, psychological issues, uh, needing to go to uh, therapists and whatnot. However, um, Jennifer Kobina, uh, she wrote for the Journal of Psychological Inquiry, uh, and they say that um, early onset prostitutes, which would be um, people who uh, come into prostitution um, before their late 20s, um, see prostitution as normal. It's seen on a day-to-day -day basis in the lives that they lead, and they choose prostitution as a way to make money. Um, it's also been noted that um, a lot of women see prostitution as empowerment over their body when escaping a uh, violent situation or a situation in which they feel they have no control. They go to prostitution where they can take their body and say what can be done for a price. Um, so when it com comes to prostitutes, I feel like a lot of, um, a lot of them have a pretty good um, sense of feeling safe and that they want to be there. Uh, Barbara Bentz, uh, UNLV Sociology, she also um, took a poll among prostitutes in Nevada and found that 84% of them feel safe in their work environment. Granted, that's not all of them, but that is an overwhelming majority. Um, just a few things to clarify. Um, rape is a crime of power. Some, uh, a rapist puts their power over somebody. By allowing um, legalized prostitution in brothels, we take away that ability to have power over somebody. There's always help close by. Um, and by legalizing, we can also keep track of the money spent. I know there was some talk about prostitutes will just take their money and go. Um, with the legalization of uh, prostitution and the use of um, prostitution zones, money can be um, tracked and it can be seen how much actually needs to be um, turned in as an income tax. So although we didn't really talk about that, prostitution actually is uh, good for our economic deficit. Um, so just as uh, we've shown that prostitution is a, in, in the legal form at least, is uh, empowering for women, it is a good uh, solid market that helps eliminate violence in, in uh, in a, I was in a career that already may have violence. Thank you.